We just wrapped up the 2014 Mr. Olympia press conference. Flex, no stranger to this stage. I've been on this stage several times. Ain't Was this the most heated press conference ever? Yeah, I've never seen uh, Kai that engaging. Um, it seems like he was very angry, very personal uh, with Phil. Uh, obviously, it's not a Phil and Kai show, but they definitely stole the show on stage here. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if they can do that uh, Friday and Saturday night. Well, they both be going one and two for the last two years. So Kai signed the postal last year as a Mr. Olympia 2013. It didn't happen. He signed it again this year as a Mr. Olympia 2014, and it talks like he means serious business. Do you think Kai is just trying to get into Phil's head to throw him off his game, or do you think that Kai is so convinced that he's so much better this year that he can take the crown? No, I think Kai really believes it. Um, it. It seems like he believes it more so than he ever have in his life. Now, I heard about him signing a poster last year, and then obviously he did it this year. You know, huge fan of Phil's. Everybody knows that, me and him are personal friend, but in my opinion, it hasn't been written yet, so if any amateur, uh, uh, one of the Olympia competitors signed it 2014, they're not out of bound. It, like it's it's last year. It's not signing 2013. It's 2014. So it hasn't been hap It hasn't happened yet. So I don't really see that as disrespect. Uh, no more than us writing in the magazines back in our day or now. Man, I'm going for the Miss Olympia. I'm going to win. I'm going to be the champion. You're supposed to believe in yourself. I don't see that. So should that fire fill up? Hell yes, to fire him up and try to make that not happen like he has done the last previous three years. But I don't really see any disrespect for that. What I see is actually. A guy who's really confident and believes in himself. Well, I mean, it was not only heated on stage, there came, I mean, we had sounds came from the audience like uh, the guru, George Farah. While Phil was talking, he said, get ready to retire. Yeah, well, with that, I mean, you know, again, I, I see it all as uh, fun and, uh, and war. And this is definitely war. I don't take it any personal. I, I've seen worse things happen and stuff like that. So, I mean, obviously, you know, people in the audience can talk all the talk they want. Uh, they don't know what it's like to have that type of pressure here on stage. They're not going to be on a stage uh, battling tomorrow. So, I mean, it, it's all chatter. But at the end of the day, you know, the talk's going to come to an end tomorrow. And these guys are going to be able to uh, speak for themselves with their physique. So, uh, other than that, I, I really didn't see nothing here on stage disrespectful. Did you? I mean, you were back in our days. It was worse back then. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see any disrespect I mean even Phil who thought he was disrespected when he was talking about his father's past I mean his dad who passed in March and uh, uh, Kai uh, um, interrupted him I, I don't think that Kai really uh, knew that he was just talking about his dad and and he didn't want to you know disrespect his dad at all so I don't see any disrespect it was just heated and to in my opinion though is these guys be fighting back and forth and is it possible for a guy like Dennis Wolf to take advantage of that yeah you know what no, I think what more or less what you're what you're asking is these guys are focusing on on their cells. Is it possible that somebody else can be the dark horse tomorrow? Hell yeah, of course. It's the Miss Olympia, bro. Um, as far as uh, Kai speaking, when when uh, Phil was talking, okay, you're talking about a death of your father. So I mean, I think everybody should give respect and be quiet while that happened. But I don't think Kai, in his mind, was actually acknowledging that. He was acknowledging, hey, that's a pass. Leave that alone. You should have gave him the last three. Now it's my turn and everything like that. But no. It's it's not a it's not a two man show. I, I'm looking forward to seeing some of the other top name guys and see what they have. Uh, I'm interested in seeing what Rami looks like this year compared to last year. I've seen a couple of pictures of Dennis. God dang, he looks a lot bigger. Uh, there was a huge argument that he wasn't only possibly second, but also a possible couple of first votes. So I think it's going to be a very very interesting show. Um, we have a, De a Dex, a very confident Dexter this year. You know, Dexter totally Dexter. so not him. Yeah, I, I heard Dexter's at his all time best after 10 years of uh, doing this. So I'm really excited. Uh, we talk is cheap man I, I don't care what nobody looks like here on stage I don't care what nobody photos look like give me 30 seconds on stage tomorrow it's a wrap <laughs> yeah. well I, it was it was it was a, a very heated press conference very very entertaining for the audience of course and uh, um, rounding up all these guys we got like you know Kai and Phil one or two we got Dennis coming out there Flexitron Sean yeah. who says he's 15 pounds bigger than last year in better condition if that's really the case if he put this 15 pounds on places where he needed him like his back then I think that 
Flexitron can, you know, can throw in some 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 serious game. I think it's uh, approximately four guys solid, uh, maybe five guys solid on stage who can actually take that one spot, which makes it for a very very heated fight and uh, possibly the most uh, competitive Mr. Olympia of all time. So it's going to be a great show. Well, we can't wait for Friday. Friday night, seven o'clock is pre-judging. We're going to go to see some of these guys tonight at the Meet the Olympics to interview some more of them athletes to see if they maybe calm down a little bit or not. You know what I mean? But until then, for Flex Wheeler, I'm Dennis James for FlexOnline.com.